All right, Steve. Let's uh, let's get to know you a little bit. Talk to me about um, your family, your job. What do you do? Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm in ministry. I do. Uh, I pastor a church here in the Bay Area. As you already know, been here for 26 years. Um, have a family, wife Suzanne, four daughters. I always thought we'd have a son, but that didn't happen. But I'm blessed with what I have. Um, been senior pastor here for 21 years, and then 12 years prior to that in youth ministry and music as well. Um, I also teach. I am a professor for Nazarene Bible College. I teach uh, Western and church history. Been doing that for about 13 years, something like that. That's great. Uh, and so being in the Bay Area, a great place to live, nice, uh, nice weather, and good place to raise a family. Yeah, and you said you've been at this current church for how long? Uh, 26, 20, almost 27 years. Now. Wow, that's great. Is that unusual for a senior pastor? Yeah, the, um, I think the average now for the Church of the Nazarene is about five years. Wow. So, you know, the people love us and we love the people and we've, we've actually uh, dedicated babies that we have now married and see their children come in the world. So it's quite unique. Yeah. Uh, the general superintendents often will tell me, you know, and there's a couple of us on this district that have been here a very long time, we're breaking the molds, and so, you know, we laugh about that. That's great. That's great. Well, talk to me a little bit about uh, your education. I know you got your undergraduate at, Na at uh, Point Loma Nazarene University, and then what that looked like from there. Um, I was uh, finishing that. I went into youth ministry at a local church in San Diego, and then started my master's in theology there at Point Loma and uh, finished a master's in biblical theology in 83, uh, something like actually in 87, um, and then, uh, then went into full-time work in youth ministry at the Old Common Church. And then after coming up here several years, um, I heard of an offer of a, a Drew University was doing a practicum program, a uh, ministry program, where the doctoral studies worked hand in hand with the context of the church. And, uh, they were studying generational proclivities. So in other words, we were like taking a look at the Gen Xers and, and how they were looking at church and postmodernism and all this kind of stuff and where the church would be in 5, 10, 15 years. And it sounded so interesting interesting to me. So as I began uh, to study it, I found out that several of my friends had gone through the program and then actually knew some of the professors, grew up with some of them, and they encouraged me strongly to, to come to be a part of the program, and so it took you know, three or four years, but we uh, we were able to uh, get an earned doctorate in uh, in postmodern studies. My particular focus was on generational, um, you know, understandings of the developing church and where we, as a church, need to be looking over the next ten years, something like that, uh, as well as how you know how the church is supposed to respond to a, a very relativistic society. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Um, tell me a little bit about, was there a defining moment or, or time you can remember <clears throat> growing up where you where you thought or felt that calling from God that you really wanted to be involved in ministry? Yeah, absolutely. I was, uh, I've always been doing ministry. I, since 12 years old, I was in bus ministry 